really poetry, or I should say a poem, or but art in general, I've come to see it as a mirror. Uh, and if you think of the poem as sort of a mirror in which the author and the reader are standing side by side, and we're both looking at the mirror, and our lives become blurred, right? There's this idea that 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 you're listening to someone, or you're, you're listening or looking into my life, but you're also looking into yourself. You're also looking and echoing back into what those experiences mean to you. And so, really, art for me in in that way is a way of is a way of communication. It's a way of of uh, human beings coming together to understand each other. It's a way to evoke to evoke an understanding within yourself. It's it's the irony of art that the particulars, the universal are in the particulars. And so you may be looking at me in the mirror, but you're also looking at yourself as a reader. And I think that's the magic of art in general, whether it be a painting or a play or a, or, or, or a piece of music, is I'm telling you, I'm giving you my story. I'm giving you the, the essence of who I am. But in seeing me in that mirror and seeing a, really, a real human being, it transcends my own story. And it's really about the person listening or the person watching. I've never seen my art or my poem as something that's sort of purely selfish in the sense of, of well, I need to say this about myself. But I always write with this idea that I want to say this because in some ways someone else is going to recognize something about their own lives. And in that way, there's a communication. I want to give every listener, every reader a sense of who they are, a, a sense of their pain, their understanding, their triumphs, their loss, whatever it may be. There's this idea, you know, that we all have this, this, this gene, this anti-poetry gene in America. Um, this idea that poetry is this, this undecipherable, um, you know, thing for only a select few. And what the inauguration experience said to me and proved to me was that given the chance with accessible contemporary work, America's response an everyday man's, everyday woman's response to poetry is amazing and powerful. Really, I think part of the issue is that we're just not exposed to enough contemporary voices in America. And I think people have these misconceptions and misunderstandings and just plain out fear about poetry because it's not taught in a way that's from an emotional route, rather just an analytical route. We know our educational system today, there's very little room for being creative and there's very little money and all this stuff. But if I have one mission that came out of all this experience is that, because I've witnessed it firsthand, is I want, I want to continue to connect America with poetry, with contemporary poetry, with contemporary voices. There are so many poets writing today about almost every region, every town, every city. You know, there's three poets and published poets right here in my small town of Bethel that are doing great work. And the idea of connecting people with something that's relevant to their lives first and letting them understand that poetry is still a very alive art and that we are, there are poets writing. In fact, there's probably more poets writing and publishing books than ever in our history. And then getting them back to the classics in that way. In other words, reversing the order of starting with Beowulf. <laughs> and then maybe if you're lucky, you get to Frost. But the idea of starting the contemporary stuff and seeing how incredible and where that, that comes from. And I think the, the power in that is that something that I've never, I always thought poetry would enjoy this, a, a much greater place in our society because of our you know, fast paced multitasking where you could read a poem in a subway ride and come away with something for the rest of your life. And I just don't think we're just not exposed to the contemporary work enough. And, and so if anything, that, that's become sort of a mission that's, that's come out of that inauguration.